Turning now to decision 2022, we're just six weeks away from the Arizona voters getting their early ballots in the mail, and there's already a turmoil in the race for state Senate. The only candidate on the November ballot has dropped out. And that could turn the election into a free for all. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick tells us what happened and why this race in the Southwest Valley could have a statewide impact. Bram? Yeah, Representative Diego Espinoza won the Senate primary in District 22, and a month later he quit after getting a new job. But his name will still be on the ballot. The situation is so unusual that Arizona elections officials still haven't figured out what should happen. The candidate Espinoza defeated told me he misled the district's voters. He totally lied to, to the people that voted for him. Rich Andrade lost a close state Senate primary in August to fellow Democratic House member Diego Espinoza. A month later, and just weeks before early voting starts, Espinoza retired from politics to take a lobbying job with the Salt River Project. Why would you go through the whole process of winning a race in order just to say, hey, I quit? It's become clear in the last few days that Espinoza had other plans. SRP says it hired him the day after he won the primary. The Tolleson restaurant that Espinosa owned for several years posted this picture a week after the primary, announcing he had sold it. He kept everyone in the dark. Now voters in the Southwest Valley's District 22 are in the dark about what comes next. Espinosa's name will be the only one on the ballot for the state Senate race. What has to happen? because we've never been there before. There were no Republican candidates in the heavily Democratic district covering parts of Glendale and Phoenix, Avondale and Tolleson. So I was sacrificing a lot of my personal time, paid vacations and leave days in order to be able to serve. And now I don't have to worry about that. Rich Andrade could run again as a write-in candidate, but he isn't sure he wants to after serving for eight years at the Capitol. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I get to go on with life and started making plans for the future. And Diego Espinosa referred all of my questions to his new employer, Salt River Project. All right, so going back to Andrade, who says voters were misled, is that fair? Well, here's the best way to put this for Diego Espinosa. He wouldn't respond to my question, so we can't say for sure. To put the best spin on it for him, he may have thought he could be a lobbyist for SRP, a powerful utility, while serving in the state Senate. Probably too many conflicts of interest there, though. On the other hand, many voters might not have cast a ballot for him if they knew he was a lobbyist for a powerful utility. Okay, what could happen if there are a lot of write-in candidates? So this gets really interesting. We've never seen anything like it. There could be all kinds of shenanigans. This seat could decide which party controls the state Senate. Now, there won't be much of a chance for vetting the write-in candidates in, what, the six weeks left before early ballots go out. Democrats are concerned. Republicans will put up just one write-in candidate and put a lot of money into promoting that person and maybe win a safe Democratic seat. If you're a District 22 voter, you need to pay attention to the information you get about the state Senate race from the county elections office and also from the Secretary of State. Keep your eye on the mail. Go online. You really need to do your homework on this one. All right. Never a dull moment in this election season. Never see anything like <laughs> it. Never. All right, Bram. Thank you.